Here we are, uh, at least I are, back at the scene of the crime. Uh, it seems strange to be in this room without all of you in front of me. Uh, the bad news is you can't ask any questions. The good news is you can't ask any questions. Uh, but we'll try to do the best we can. And I've chosen a topic that is fairly straightforward so that uh, you won't have too many questions. And it is Roman Keycard Blackwood. Now you've all played Blackwood forever, how to ask for aces when you're interested in trying to get to a slam. <clears throat> and you say, well, why should I learn a different Blackwood? Well, bridge is an interesting game. The information never stay, stays the same. There's always somebody coming along and making uh, adjustments and changes uh, because as the experts use these things, they find ways to make them better. And so if there's a better mousetrap to be had, I think that we need to have it. Um, you'll notice, please, that I have two additions to my usual uh, way of dressing these days. A, I have earrings on. And you can't wear a mask and wear earrings at the same time they get caught in each other. The other thing is I have on lipstick. And I think this is the first time I've put on lipstick in weeks. So I'm really happy to be here. Okay. Roman Keycard Blackwood. Why is it called Roman? Because it's not an invention of the Americans. It comes from the Italians. They used the system called the Italian Blue Team Club, and their way of asking for aces was what we're going to consider today. Um, <clears throat> you all learned Blackwood, and it was easy if you had partner bid four, no trump. If you didn't have any aces, you bid five clubs. If you had one, you bid five diamonds. If you had two, you bid five hearts. If you had three, you bid five spades. Well, how is this different and why is it different and why should you embrace it? It allows us to consider the king of the agreed trump suit as another ace, if you will. And instead of calling them aces now, we're going to refer to them as controls. There are five controls, the four aces and the king of trump. And in some cases, and you can find this out at the five level, and in some cases, you can even ask about the queen of Trump at the five level or get information about the queen of Trump. And what it does is it enables you to get to a slam or not get to a slam if you're off two controls uh, or if you have bad Trump suits. For instance, if you are ace empty fourth, opposite jack empty fourth without the king without the queen but you had all the rest of the kings and queens in the deck and you tried to get to a slam it's possible that you would have two losers in your trump suit so this enables us to avoid that so how do you employ it you employ it and i'm going to go to the board and jill is going to follow me that if you have um, in, in regular, I'm going to put down BW for regular Blackwood, and I'm going to put down a Roman key card Blackwood for it. And clubs in regular Blackwood showed zero aces. And in key card Blackwood, it shows zero or three. In regular Blackwood, diamonds showed one ace, and in Roman keycard Blackwood, it shows one or four. In regular Blackwood, hearts showed two aces, and in keycard Blackwood, it shows two, con Keep going. two controls with no queen of trump, all right? And spades in regular Blackwood showed three, oh, this was, should have been zero or four, shows three aces, and in key card, it showed two, and with the queen of trump. So you can see that by, by making five key cards that include not only the four aces, but the king of trump, and sometimes we get some information about whether we do or don't have the queen of trump, that we get more, much more information at the five level. That's what makes using key cards so much, so much better 
than regular black wood. Now, the question sometimes comes up, what's the, what's the trump suit? Okay, so <clears throat> on your sheet, there are three, a one, two, and a three. And the first one is that when the suit has been absolutely supported, for instance, one spade, three spades, we're going to play this hand in spades, and I now bid four no trump, I'm asking you to tell me how many aces you have and include in that number the king of spades. Sometimes you use a technique that implies the suit that you're going to bid, that you're going to play in. One spade, two no trump, many of you use as Jacoby two no trump, which says, yes, I like spades and yes, I have a full opening bid. And so in that sequence, one spade, two no trump, four no trump will say, now tell me how many aces and the king of spades and maybe information about the queen of spades you can give me. If three suits have been bid, I open a diamond, you bid a heart, I bid one spade, or maybe I could even jump to two spades as a jump shift, and you bid four no trump, it's off of the last bid suit when three suits have been bid, and that will say, okay, spades is where we're going to play, now tell me about the number of controls that you have. So in most cases, you can tell whether this is going to be key card or not. There is one sequence that you have to be careful of, and that's where I open the bidding with a suit, and you go straight to four no trump. That is not key card Blackwood. That is straight, how many aces do you have, partner? And the reason for that is, and it's on your lesson sheet, if you held a singleton spade and a singleton heart and seven or eight solid diamonds, you're going to play this hand in diamonds, and the king, queen, third of clubs, you would only want to know how many spades you have, uh, pardon me, you would only want to know how many aces I had in my hand, and you wouldn't want it to get mixed up with the king of spades. So a spade, four no trump, simply says, how many aces do you have, partner? Now, there are two ways of playing key card, and it is something for you and a partner to decide between you. Um, I've put down, I'm going to change the board slightly. Okay. This is method number one, and it's on your sheet in as the first option for clubs and uh, diamonds. The alternate, or the, the second, we'll call it the second option. The second option is that five clubs shows one or four, notice this was diamonds, this was clubs, this was diamonds, and I'm only going to deal with those, and over here five diamonds is zero or three. You notice that the first two steps have been reversed. And uh, it all depends what the partnership chooses. Uh, in my world, more people use the second option than the first option. And you say, well then, why should I even bother looking at the first option? Because as you're transitioning from regular Blackwood, when five clubs meant zero, and, or four, and five diamonds meant one, that if you're just learning key card, Sometimes that's easier. In either case, there's a mnemonic that is useful and it, on each option. In this option, the mnemonic is 14, 30, 20, 21, and we'll talk about it. And in this one, it's 30, 41, 20, 21. Now, notice that the first two, the numbers are kind of reversed. In this option, this says I, if clubs is I have one or four, diamonds is I have three or zero, 
hearts is I have two without no queen of trump. And five spades is I have two key cards and I own the queen of our agreed trump suit. In this option, in the first key card, three or zero, four or one, two without, no, zero, queen of trump, and two with the queen of trump. Now, in your games here in the building, if you're the only person that's uh, tuned into this lesson and you think it has some merit, take your sheet to your game with you. And uh, when somebody says, let's try for a slam, walk through it, okay? Talk about it. See if it appeals to, to the people. On your sheet, uh, on the back of the sheet, there are a couple of quiz questions, all right? So that, <laughs> notice please, my sheet accommodated my inability to read your sheet is a normal size, all right? And your sheet has, on the back of it, a couple of quiz things so you can try it, all right? And should we ever, when the time comes that we'll get together, and I hope it won't be longer than shorter, okay, um, we, we will talk about this again. I highly recommend the use of Keycard Blackwood. But let's talk about slam bidding in general for just a moment. How do you decide that you, there might even be a slam in the hand, okay? One of the ways is that both hands are very rich in high cards. You have a lot of aces and faces between the two hands. And I open the bidding, and you know I have at least an opening bid, and your hand is in the neighborhood of 20 points. You say, my goodness, we're certainly in slam range. You may not know where the slam is going to be played, but you know that you should be trying to get there. Whose responsibility is it? It's the one who has more information, all right? The, um, there are other hands that are not so rich in aces and faces as they are of great interest distributionally. I mean, normally if I asked you how many points do you need to be in a Grand Slam, you would tell me, oh, you have to have about 37 points. And I will tell you that I've been in a Grand Slam on 22 high card points between the two hands. And you say, how is such a thing possible? And such a thing is possible because I was short, we had massive trumps between us, and I was short where my partner was long, and my partner was short in the side suit where I was long. And so we had controls of the suits and bid our way to a grand slam on 22 high card points. The other piece of information about getting to slams is people kind of muddy the waters by throwing Gerber into the mix. That four, why don't I just always use four clubs? It's lower and cheaper and I am not up so high. Gerber is used in the context of no trump bidding. And Blackwood is used in the context of suit bidding. And, it, and that's the simplest way not to get them confused. All right? If I open a no trump, once I open a no trump, we are in the context of no trump bidding. If you stay in the hand or you Jacoby transfer the hand, and let's say the bidding goes stamen, one no trump, two clubs, two hearts, and now you're on the track of a slam, if you jump to four clubs, that's Gerber, and by the way, there is an application for Roman keycard Gerber, but we won't go into it until you're really uh, familiar with Roman keycard Blackwood, but that would be ace asking. If you make a Jacoby transfer, I open the bidding a no trump, we're in the context of a no trump auction, and you bid two hearts and I bid two spades, you made me do it, and you now jump to four clubs, we are slam thinking, and the probability that this hand is going to play in spades is great. 
but now four clubs is ace asking. So what you need to do is you need to kind of look at your uh, no trump tools, all right? Uh, and interestingly enough, this option in key card, going back to, to key card Blackwood, on the ACBL convention card, in the area about slam bidding, they have both, and they call it RKC, and that would be the five clubs is zero or three, and they have next to it 1430, and the partnership gets to choose which option they want to play, and they check it accordingly. So there's not much more that I can say about this. Uh, you have the lesson sheet. If you don't have a lesson sheet, see Jill uh, after the fact. Uh, later is better than never. And uh, see if this is something that you like. And good luck, and keep safe. Bye-bye.